Hello and Namaste. Welcome to Upset Program. This program is all about education, educational news, views and your career. Today I am going to talk about Eastern in India program. Why international student could have choose SRM University? Uh, to give you all detail about it, we have very special guest from university side who is none other than Sasanko Sen. Yes, uh, he is looking after general manager marketing, SRM University, Delhi NCR, Sonipath. Haryana. Let's welcome him to the show. Uh, Sasan Kusar, you are welcome on our Thank show. you. Thank you very much. Okay. So, especially, first of all, would you please introduce yourself and tell us something about uh, SRM University? Yeah, SRM University, like people know about SRM University, just to add it up, we have a legacy of 50 years now. Mm -hmm. huh? uh, we started in 1969 huh? and our founder, Chancellor, he was himself a teacher. Mm -hmm. So he had a long vision and now we are here after 50 years with 22 institutions, <coughs> Pan India, hmm, out of which we have universities in Chennai, we have university in Delhi, NCR, Sonipat, we have in uh, Amravati, we have in Sikkim. So these are the universities we have. Apart from that, we have 18 odd colleges with us. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh, that's in nutshell about SRM group. SRM Sonipat, if specifically if I talk about a uh, it's a lush green campus of uh, 48 acres plus, huh? where we have our hospital inside, our hostel, our academic sections. Uh, there are a lot to talk about. We have all the best uh, computer labs with us. We have tied up with us, uh, various corporates where uh, we have IBM with us, ZBR, TCS. We do our merge programs with these uh, companies for various our BTEC programs, BBA programs and other programs. So, especially talking about uh, Indian University, really like uh, we are like visiting in different university colleges and really impressed with the infrastructure facilities and the research and development. So, in terms of uh, like um, infrastructure and uh, facilities, how SRM University is creating the state of art there in uh, Sonipat? As I said, huh, uh, the kind of exposure we try to give it to students. Huh? Uh, like previously, we had uh, uh, tied up with ISRO huh? and uh, uh, we had built up, our students helped with ISRO building up satellite. So, the kind of the main aim is to give exposure to students. So, we have these corporate tie-ups like IBM where the students goes for live projects with ZBR, IBM, TCS, all these companies. Huh? So, they get a lot of exposure huh? and obviously the placements are very on a higher level. Huh? Uh, even in when, uh, yesterday I met one of my alumni here uh, in Nepal, he's working over here, he did a civil, uh, civil engineering program, he did his B.Tech from SRM Sonipat, he did his M.Tech from there and currently is working here uh, as a structural engineer. Uh, similarly, we have a lot of students in India also, uh, those who are working there as of now. Okay. So, especially talking about uh, today's event, it's a really wonderful experience that prominent universities are there in single room mm -hmm. talking with, uh, with the like principal um, agents and mm -hmm. uh, prospective like um, clients here in Nepal. So, let's have a talk about this uh, event, how it will be helped to SRM University to uh, make a good marketing and branding here in Nepal. See, basically, if you take my personal perception, huh? Education, uh, when we talk about students, it's all about word of mouth. Uh, uh, whatever you do, ultimately students, they come after listening from people, okay, what is good and what is bad, whether it's a family uh, reference or whether it's an outsider who refers a student. So we come to these kind of events where a lot of uh, principals are there, agents are there, they come to know, they understand because they are into the fraternity, education fraternity, they understand very well how the universities are working, what kind of placement, what is the best parameters for the student in terms of the investment, in terms of the return, uh, uh, how well the students can cope up in this college or university. So these events are quite uh, fruitful events for us uh, where uh, we can explain in the principles Okay, what we are actually doing and they can again pass it to the students okay, that they can recommend students to come to various institutions because they have their knowledge and the vision accordingly. Okay, so especially talking about international students community there in SRM University, um, how 
uh, among international student community, how Nepali students are doing there? That's, as I said yesterday, I met uh, one of my students mm -hmm. here. Uh, so they are doing very well. Uh, they, are, they are happy. They are recommending other students uh, because they because they are happy people. Uh, they are working hard. They are happy. Money. Overall, good. Uh, uh, what I felt after mm -hmm. yesterday, my alumni meet. Uh, so I felt very nice. Okay, students are very happy working in India as well as working here. Okay. And uh, other parts, one of our student, Nepali students have gone to Dubai also, mm -hmm. he is doing his job over there. So they are pretty happy students once yeah. they are very well placed. Especially talking about uh, uh, Nepal market, um, uh, they know SRM University very perfectly and mm -hmm. uh, they, they are like quite familiar with the alumni and the development as well. So beside this, uh, how we taught, what are our like uh, basic uh, uh, teaching pedagogy so that we are able to produce that sort of the alumni who are like uh, easily deserving in different corner of the world. See the curriculum is built up huh, keeping in mind with the corporate interactions. Huh. We take the help of the corporate according to their need. That is the reason we do these kind of tie-ups. We have international tie-ups with foreign universities. Uh, I'll take a step ahead uh, like we send students after two years a student can go abroad and do their further studies the mapping is easily done already whereas there are student exchange program taking place with various other foreign universities uh, and coming to the curriculum part 25% uh, of the programs are conducted by, by the corporates uh, they come to our university they, they spend time there with the students 75% we cover it up uh, so actually while the student is studying uh, they get an opportunity for live projects. The company takes them to various uh, where the company softwares have been developed and other program. So they get exposure accordingly. And uh, finally, placements are very, very on a higher note huh, because some of the agreements where uh, the companies are also responsible to hire the students because it's uh, associated programs. Huh. So it's more corporate driven uh, programs what we have it. Okay. So finally, what's your message to the prospective student and parents, those who are trying to get best university in India? My message to the students would be uh, like all institutions, all universities, those who are in the market uh, are good. I don't say okay, we are good or they are not good. It's nothing like that. Uh, all are good uh, is that you need to do where you are, where you feel comfortable. Uh, mm -hmm the teachers you need to visit once because uh, you need to go to india visit once or you have your agent partners you need to interact with them we are always here coming down you come and interact with us we can give you the nutshell what we are doing and what not where you're comfortable your uh, uh, your budget uh, the what kind of investment you want to do and accordingly you should pick up the uh, university. Hmm. That would be my uh, true message to the uh, student. Okay. SRM is a good place to study. We had been proving for last 50 years now. Uh. Okay. So it's a nice place and students should look at SRM at okay. the prior price. Sasanku, thank you so much for your valuable time and thoughts. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for inviting. Thank you. Telecasting Global Opportunity.